breathing clean air, we'll be seeing uh, lots of species in tropical rainforests um, existing, we'll see uh, rainforest being restored, we'll see clean water in rivers. I see the human beings feeling as part of one only planet, we're, we're one, we're one. If we don't take uh, prompt actions to protect our environment, um, I think we will not be able to live in harmony with our planet. One, uh, you wake up in the morning, you see the eyes of your kids, and you have a huge responsibility. And you have a responsibility to the next generation to do something with the power that you've, we were given. To do something, something with the power that you we were given. given. I'm Catalina, I'm Colombian, I'm a social entrepreneur. I started working in the Chocó rainforest of Colombia and now we're expanding our projects to other countries in Latin America and from, uh, next in Africa. Look, look at how hard it is to find oil today. We dig there are now oil rigs that go 12,000 feet into water and then go another 6,000 feet into the ground to find oil. It's, it's a technological marvel, but why would you do this? And so if, if we can find cheaper, easier ways to drive our cars, to, to energize our cars, we're probably going to do that. I'm uh, Shai Agassi, I'm the founder and uh, CEO of a new company called Better PLC, or Better Place. Well, it's a new company in uh, infrastructure for um, electric cars. Um, think of what can happen in the areas of energy. If you look at what, you know, for example, what a battery can hold going forward, and we know that that, dis that changes the same factor, 50% improvement, 2x improvement, only every five years. Now project that over to 2030, and you see what, what can change. Drastic things can change. Drastic, Drastic things, things can, can change. change. My name is Marcel Reichardt. This is my third year with the Young Global Leaders. I am active in their environmental group. We've written a book on climate protection that we're now introducing. I work for Hubert Burder Media. Book of love. The Book of Love is a book of initiatives with best case examples of companies and cities which practice climate protection and incorporate it into their goals, into their business goals, which isn't a contradiction. We're presenting our book and sending it to 4,000 policymakers the world over. I saw that mining was one of the big uh, causes of environmental devastation. We tried to think about positive alternatives. What could be an alternative to stop this de environmental devastation? And what we did was to create a certification system, the first certification system in the world for green gold, for ecological mining. In most of the Western world, we use water to flush our uh, sewage. Why would you take clean water and use it for sewage? It makes absolutely no sense. And so you're, you're, you're seeing certain things that we've done because there was an economy of abundance, and we're going to shift into economy of constraints. And when you shift the economy of constraints, you have to come in with technological improvements to change the way we do things.
up to now it, it's still small but there are 1,400 miners certified as green gold miners, as responsible miners and um, that protects around 7,600 hectares of tropical rainforests. Uh, miners are receiving better incomes for the green gold. The gold is sold at 10 percent above the international price and the revenues are reinvested in community projects. The best scenario would be if there were global environmental policies and a global awareness of CO2 emissions that the big countries, the US, China, India and Europe, would have at the top of their agendas. If we do not solve the energy crisis and the lack of energy, all the other good things will not happen. I would like to invent a pill that um, kills selfishness. <laughs> I would like to invite this. this is only